I've been in this field since the late um, 1980s. Um, I first got into it due to some Ronald Reagan Star Wars spin-off money that was at my university. And in those days, when I looked, in the early t days, looked at light therapy, um, and I, I wasn't involved in it, I was a basic neuroscientist, and unfortunately a lot of the work was not well controlled. People didn't really understand what kind of light, amounts of light they were delivering. So the, the field was a mess. The clinical trials weren't controlled or blinded. And I looked at that, I mean, we're talking 80s, and said, I can design a better experiment than that. It's been a long haul. It, I think alternative <coughs> techniques, medical techniques, at least in the, UN the U.S., aren't readily accepted by the general medical community, unless there's a lot of, a lot of uh, data behind it. And it's taken this 20 years to develop this field. It's about to crack, I'm telling you. And so now more and more people are getting interested. A lot of people are fed up with taking drugs and the side effects and are seeking out these alternative techniques. And light, transcutaneous, transcutaneous non-invasive, even for things like I work on, spinal cord injury and nerve repair, um, has great potential with, with no, no real side effects.